Now to a story you saw first on 12 mask confusion in Comac. The district is now telling students to mask up after just yesterday saying it was dropping the mask mandate. News 12's Eileen La Palmer has the latest. To mask or not to mask. It's a topic in many school districts coming to the forefront now that the Comac school district tried to drop the day long mask mandate. We need to keep the mask on until the end of the school year and uh, don't change anything. My youngest can't deal with the heat and a mask. It's not right. As we've reported Tuesday afternoon, the Comac superintendent said masks were out for students while sitting at their desks but reverse course by the evening in this robocall. Earlier this evening, I received a call from the governor's office indicating that although they could see how we interpreted the language to allow changes to our messing protocols, that was not the intent of the guidance. County health officials tell me that each school district is responsible for coming up with their own COVID-19 safety plan and that county health officials can help or advise, but ultimately they are supposed to be relying on the state guidance. And late this afternoon, the state health department told me the guidance is clear. In a statement saying, in part, we specifically require universal masking consistent with the CDC. There is no ambiguity. Masks are required in the Department of Health's 24-page guidance document, and the use of and importance of masks is referenced 50 times. It's easy to get confused with all of the guidance that's out there. Dr. Julie Lutz is the chief operating officer of Eastern Suffolk BOCES and is also on the Suffolk County School Superintendents Association. There's lots of conversations about, you know, what's a mask break? Where can it happen? What's good for kids? Um, and, you know, we, we wait for Suffolk County Department of Health Services in New York State to say, yes, there's some flexibility. And there's only a few weeks left until summer break. In Comac, Eileen LaPalmer, News 12 Long Island. Well, this afternoon, the Comac District said in a statement that while the safety and welfare of students and staff is at the forefront of decisions, they will continue to advocate for changes at the state level that allow for parental choice.